check in with Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson to find out. Hi there. Hey, good evening, Mike and Sheree. Yeah, those showers and even a few rumbles of thunder are going to arrive here while we sleep tonight and probably be around for at least part of your morning commute on Wednesday. Radar's pretty quiet right now, but we've got a cold front bearing down on the area. And as a result, back across parts of the Hoosier State tonight, you see scattered showers and thunderstorms roaming in our direction. The good news, these storms aren't severe, but they could wake you up in the middle of the night with a couple of loud claps of thunder. So here's a look at your Wednesday morning as you get ready to head out the door. It won't be raining everywhere, but I do think there will be pockets of rain around the area. At least it's going to be a mild start. Temperatures will just be shy of 70 first thing in the morning in the upper 60s. So yes, some of you will need the rain gear. Others not so much, but the scattered downpours will be around. The good news is that tomorrow gets progressively better. The wettest part of your Wednesday will be the first half of the day. Notice as we head into the afternoon, we'll start seeing some peaks at the sun as we begin to dry out and all the showers head east. Temperatures will be in the low 70s and it looks nice tomorrow evening. By then we'll have a complete change of air mass. It will be less humid across the area. Temperatures will be falling back into the upper 60s underneath partly cloudy skies. So here's what we're awaiting. The arrival of this cold front tonight that's back near the Mississippi River. Once it pushes through tomorrow, say mid morning, that will shut off our opportunity for rain and actually open the door for some very pleasant autumn weather to take us through the end of of the week. But boy, has it been a wet September. How about this again? Already our sixth wettest September ever with 6.66 inches of rainfall. We're talking about nearly two and a half times as much rain as we typically get during the month of September. And in case you're wondering, where does that stack up right now? We're still in sixth place for the sixth wettest September ever. But notice these numbers here are fairly close. There's not a lot of distance between five and four, so it'll be interesting to see if we get a good downpour overnight. And then obviously we still have a couple of more days left in the month. Month. But here's what's even more impressive. It doesn't have to rain a single day more for the rest of this year, and we've already picked up all of the rain that we're supposed to get in one year's time. In fact, on average in a normal year, we're about 42 and a half inches of rainfall. We are now pressing on 43 inches of rain, and we've still got a full three months left ahead of us to add to that. So every drop of rain that falls from here on out continues to add to our surplus for 2018. All right, outside right now, back downtown, 73 degrees at the airport. That breeze out of the southwest will ensure temperatures don't fall much. As you can see around the area, pretty uniform. Everyone right around 72, 73 degrees, give or take a degree there. Sharonville, 73, Kenwood, 71, Wyoming College Hill in the low 70s, 72 in Del High. So overnight, temperatures are going to hold pretty steady. We still have this flash flood watch in effect, but given the fact that I've seen these storms be fairly progressive in nature and the fact that we haven't seen a lot of storms as of yet, this was mainly for the concern that if we get thunderstorms that give us those excessive rainfall amounts to two, three inch per hour rates, we could have some water concerns. Uh, that's looking a lot less likely overnight tonight, so I actually think we're in pretty good shape. I'm not going to rule out, though, some pockets of heavy rainfall. In fact, look at this, 4 o'clock in the morning, as that round of showers and storms sweeps in from Indiana and the cold front presses in our direction, I expect scattered showers and storms to redevelop. Here's 7 a.m. They'll be around for the morning commute, but notice by 10, we're starting to dry out. We're in pretty good shape and it only gets progressively drier as the day unfolds as a nice northwesterly breeze kicks in and drops the humidity. So don't be surprised overnight tonight if you get startled by a couple of rumbles of thunder. And while the threat for severe weather is very low, I'm not going to rule out maybe a wind gust with a few of the storms that kind of blows the rain up against the windows a little bit. 66 for your overnight low. And then for tomorrow, morning rain and then clearing out. How about 73 for your afternoon high? Here's your day planner. As mentioned, the first half of the day will be the wettest and it improves considerably in time for that evening commute. Here's your seven day forecast. How about this stretch of autumn weather into the weekend? Even a little cool at times. You might need a light jacket or sweater, especially at night. But more importantly, Mike, George, Brandon, High school football looks good on Friday night. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> yes. I hope that stick.